<laughs> this is what we need in Ghana. <laughs> this is what we need in Ghana. Yes, I... But I believe all these aspirations will come back. Are you mean? Into the Are country. you mean? <laughs> Are you mean? I mean, that's that is what it's about. Yeah. You know, we we have a country that other people cherish. Mm -hmm. How much more will we, the people that belong to that country? All these efforts, you know, is is a build up, you know, for the final return. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's difficult. You know, the return is not. It cannot be straightforward. Mm -hmm. You know, it has to be in bits and pieces. Wow. You know, so everything that I try to learn or I try to work on is to prepare myself so that when that day comes and eventually bag and baggage, I'm down here. <laughs> we still have that link. Same, if you have same. In the fire. But, but, but Scully, um, mm. before I leave you finally, I, I, I don't understand one thing. Maybe unless you tell me. Talk to me. Anytime you are not around, there is no reggae on City FM. Why? But when you come back, reggae comes back. I think... Um, what is the link? You know, you know... I, <laughs> yeah, I, I give thanks for mm -hmm. that because, um, like I said earlier, now we have a lot of radio stations mm -hmm. that play reggae music. Mm -hmm. And, you know, City FM, when it comes to um, the English broadcasting mm -hmm. in, in, the U, in, in Ghana, mm -hmm. are among the top echelon of, mm -hmm. of radio stations. Now, what it is is... The reggae slot itself is not that much of a feature mm -hmm. for City FM, mm -hmm. you know, because their programming style is such that right, we cannot they cannot do everything, mm -hmm. you know. Let other people take other aspects and then they focus on what they are best at. Mm -hmm. However, because of the relationship I have with them, and the fact that I spent a couple of years, um, I think it was from 2007 when they had me as a resident reggae, you know, mm -hmm. selector. Um, whenever I'm coming back into the country, you know, I make sure that to, I make a link to them and Just say, look. Just a phone call. <laughs> well, it's, it's <laughs> you know, I make a link and say, look, yeah, when I come in, you know, there's new music that I would like to present to the people, you know, yeah. so if they could give me the opportunity. Okay. And I give thanks, you know, because, and that's what I'm saying that, we are going to get there one day. When you have people that have faith in you mm -hmm. and they have belief in you, and as much as something might not be what they would do on a daily basis, they know that, look, this individual is bringing something, you know, that would not normally spice be the norm. Up the whole spice day. up the <laughs> You have used the word. <laughs> Lagazi. Yeah, man. You know, so that's how the thing said. Yeah, man. So anytime I pass through, you know, the management say, boy, okay, man, give the boy a blah, you know, mm -hmm. and then play some music for the people then. Mm -hmm. So the thing said. All right. But um, you never know. You never know. They might, you know, from the way you have pushed this agenda, <laughs> I know. They might turn around tomorrow and say, why? Bring <laughs> Lagazi. Come <laughs> Scully! Come of the place, you yeah, know, man, so yeah, we give man. thanks. But yeah, I mean, on, on the whole, we give thanks. I think the future is bright. All right, all right. You know, right. I think the, the future is positive and right. you shouldn't give up the fight, like Bob Marley said. Yeah, man. Um, Scully, before I leave you finally, I, 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 I want you to talk to us. You know, Ghana-based reggae artists, radio stations that play reggae. You, you, are, you have been on the international level, so you know what is going on. Every time I used to listen to One Extra, BBC Radio One, when I listen to it, I say, wow. Robo, yeah, yeah, but this is the kind of thing I want. I listen to some interviews. I listen to Mota Baruka on IFM. You know, it's unfortunate. I, I don't listen to, you know, Ghana reggae presenters yeah. because I, I don't feel you understand me. But I listen to the internet. I say, wow, this is what I want to do on my show. Every time, chasing music up and down here yeah. and there. Even people, I want this kind of music. I want this. I want this video. A whole lot. Advices. I think um, what we need to understand is being a reggae selector, we did not start reggae DJing. We are learning from, from the people that started it. Mm -hmm. When you say high life music, if somebody's playing high life music, we started high life. Mm -hmm. You know, we started hip, hip life. Mm -hmm. So if any selector or any DJ is playing hip life, they have command over what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Reggae music, we did not start it. It's somebody's thing that we want to learn. So we need to be patient and learn it and do it properly. Do you understand? What I have heard, you know, from some selectors on radio is they, they, they don't have the patience to learn. Mm -hmm. They take a couple of CDs, they burn it from a computer, and they call themselves reggae DJs. Mm -hmm. And then they think, okay, once you can string a couple of lines of patois, then you're a reggae <laughs> DJ. You know? But yeah. we, we need to take time. When, when you have a program, okay, when you're presenting a program, a two-hour program, you need to give you some thought. Okay, in the two hours, what do I want to achieve? 
It's not just coming to sit down and, and speaking patois. Mm -hmm. You want to connect with your listeners, okay? You want to give out information. You want to give out new reggae music. Or you want to go back into the archives, you know, and let people reminisce. So you have to give some thought to presenting a show. It's not just, you, you know, you, know you have a show at 2 o'clock. And then, you know, when it's like quarter to two, you're rushing to the studio. Oh, boy, you know, you're going to start. No. You have a show at 2 o'clock. By 1.30, you're in the studio. You, you, you know, you relax. You set yourself up. You know, okay. So this is, you see, whenever I, I have a show on City FM, I have a playlist. You know, that I, I write up before I even get to the studio. Mm -hmm. I have a program, it, I have a, a sketch of what I'm going to be doing on the show. You know, so before I even get to the studio, I'm prepared that, okay, for the first 30 minutes, this is what we're doing. After 30 minutes, it's a commercial break. And just like what we're doing yeah, now, yeah. you know, you know that, okay, on your, you have this segment, you mm -hmm. have that. That is what it should be. But if we don't get to that stage and people will just come and sit down, and that's why you have seasoned presenters like Black Santino, mm -hmm. you know, they, they give it some thoughts before coming to sit down and then they know what they want to discuss they know when they want to open the phone lines and get people involved that is what it should be i i wish that we would have a situation where people like santino would have the opportunity to to groom you know like um daddy bosco as yeah, well yeah, yeah, prime i i know prime i is not playing music anymore and then there's this culture, culture b. b you know they are the foundation when it comes to presenting yeah, reggae music. Yeah, so I wish, you know, those guys would come together and we will have a way where they can sort of groom new people mm -hmm. coming up and then we can do this thing properly. But it's not just about, you know, bending a couple of seeds. CDs and coming are, to, that is not going to work. <laughs> you know, that is not going to work. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So we have to take some, it, it takes sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure you didn't just start doing this from, no, you didn't just come in and say to the people, I want to do a show and they start giving a show. No. This is a lot of sacrifice. Yeah, a, whole a lot of, of research, sacrifice. a lot of hard work that you mm -hmm. put in. I know you've spoken before. Yeah, man. And there was a time that you got frustrated. <laughs> You know, but here we are today. Yeah, man. Yeah. You never gave up. Yeah, man. I saw yeah, the set in the bars. Yeah. I saw the tin set. You see me? Yeah, man. So we don't have to give up. Not a sell so, yes, Skelly, you don't know, man. Don't give up ghetto youth. Yes, I am. So, Skelly, um, mm. when are you leaving and when, when are you coming back? Boy. <laughs> are you leaving now? That's a million dollar question in of us. <laughs> um, well, I don't... I, we, see, we see what Jar has in store for us, I you know. Because, right, right. you know, you never know. We're gonna stay on, we're gonna live soon, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I, 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 I believe through Skelly we can have the Morgan Heritage Group in Ghana because I am highly aiming for that because they are my artists. There's no single day that, that when I go on radio, I don't play Morgan Heritage. Every day we play Morgan Heritage. You understand? So I know through Skelly. It's not going to end over here. <laughs> we're going to be talking this time around. Yeah, so that is good. Yeah, and, you know, two times. He'll be giving us update what is happening in London and you know Europe and you know on his tour everything will be taking the feedbacks and everything from there. So people must watch it. Skelly, thanks a lot. I give for fun. honoring the what invitation. I, mean? I, should, I should be saying thank you for giving me the opportunity <laughs> to talk to the people then. But it's a whole lot of people that you know the head Skelly and City and Rare and people are wondering. There's a time that on the show somebody sent me a text. Are you a Rasta man? <laughs> Have you got dreadlocks? <laughs> I said, boy, you don't have to dread to be Rasta. Rasta. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> so, Skelly, thanks a we lot. We give thanks. Rasta for I. So, we give thanks and praise. Skelly said one thing that is in, you know, straight inside here. He said, don't give up. So, up and coming reggae, you know, DJs, reggae singers, you know, promoters, let's come together as one and let's build this industry. Rasta for I. Keep watching. All right. Well,